Take care, hope you're well. I haven't made any videos for a while. Sorry about that. Well, since I moved into this new place, I never liked the kitchen. This doesn't have the right colour, no layout, and it's quite difficult to make a video here. But recently, I've received a new phone as a birthday gift, and I felt like maybe it's time to make uh, new videos using this new gadget. So this video is entirely filmed using iPhone 11 Pro Max. God embarrassing name. Anyway, today I'd like to look at a vegetarian dish. Partly because my boyfriend recently turned himself into a vegetarian. But I think a lot of people became a vegetarian as a New Year's resolution. So I hope this recipe helps you. Let's check out the ingredients. We need a leek, nice and thick one. Shiitake mushrooms, quite a few of them. Tofu, organic tofu I've got. Ginger, sorry this is not as fresh as it's supposed to be. Soy sauce, this is a mini version as I'm Japanese. Cooking sake, I went to Japan center to get this. Mirin, the same from Japan center. And corn flour. The container is Japanese. As always, first job is to chop up everything. We can start with the leek. First job is done. Next up is shiitake mushrooms. Chop, 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 chop. A lot to chop up. Still going on. Keep up. Shiitake mushroom is a great ingredient for a vegetarian dish because it has strong flavour and it can give so much of depth in the dish. So is ginger. It has a lovely strong flavour and gives a kick. Yup, some more chopping. Let's pour one and a half cup of water into a pan and heat it up. Then add half a sachet of dashi powder and stir it. I have to cheat a little bit here because dashi is essential to Japanese cuisine, but unfortunately it's made from bonito, it's a fish, so not for vegetarian or vegan. So if you are vegetarian or vegan, please make sure to buy a dashi made from seaweed Let's pop all the chopped leek into dashi soup. Pop the lid on and cook it through. Voila, this is like a magic. Add some shiitake mushrooms in and pop the lid back on. By the way, I'm filming this with iPhone 11 Pro Max. I said it. I love the smell of dashi. Well, I can't quite become a vegetarian because I love the smell of this so much and it's part of our heritage. This is something, some smell that I've grown up with. This is the smell of my mum's kitchen, mum's dish. So that's not something I can easily give up. It's time to add some ginger in. One tablespoon of sake, one tablespoon of mirin, and two tablespoons of soy sauce go into the pan. and then give it a star again. Ooh, looking great! And final process. Let's put two tablespoons of corn flour and make the soup a bit thicker. This is it. I'm gonna heat up the tofu in the microwave for 30 seconds. Buying tofu is quite tricky, I think. Well, it's getting popular, and you can buy it in pretty much any supermarket in London, but they sell different tofus from different brands, and then all come in different stiffness. Well, in Japan, we have two different types of tofu. One is called a kunigoshi tofu, and the other one is called uh, momen tofu. 
Kinugoshi Dofu is a bit softer, delicate, fine texture, and Momen Dofu is a bit harder one. But usually, like, there's two different types of tofus. Here, different brand has a different stiffness, and generally speaking, it's much harder than any of the tofu you can find in Japan. If you have a selections of tofu in front of you, please make sure to buy relatively soft one. I think that's better for Japanese dishes. Here we go, tofu is ready. Pour the sauce over the tofu. Generous amounts is the key. And sprinkle some crushed chilies over the tofu. That gives the extra kick. Dinner time, everyone! Whether you're a vegetarian or not, let's cook something healthy and tasty in the new year. Japanese is perfect for that. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please like it or subscribe the channel. See you next time! And I forgot to tell you that this video was entirely edited on iPhone 11 Pro Max. I can't believe I said it again.